And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. Patchy frost for tonight. Chilly temperatures, but how long are they going to last? And what is the weekend looking like? It's never too early to talk about the weekend, but I tell you, for tonight, though, we do have a frost advisory in effect from 1 a.m. to 10 a.m. for the entire viewing area. So if you do have tender vegetation, some plants that you want to keep, make sure that you bring them indoors or cover them up because temperatures are going to be near the freezing mark for tonight, and that will damage or kill the plants and tender vegetation. Also, don't forget about the pets. My dear to my heart, the pets. Uh, so again, uh, make sure that they have some place to get out of the cold temperatures. Could I tell you, our highs were actually a little bit after midnight, and they were 65 degrees, both in Ottumwa and in Kirksville. So those temperatures continue to fall throughout the rest of the uh, overnight hours and throughout the day, as well as we had that those rain showers push through, really not amounting to very much, less than a tenth of an inch or so across the area. Right now, those uh, clouds are continuing to stay with us, but those will be decreasing as well. 48 degrees right now at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the north-northwest at around 8 miles per hour. A tumble of 47 degrees with brisk winds out of the north-northwest at around 20 miles per hour. So we're going to start to see some decreasing clouds. Those winds will continue to die down as well. 36 degrees at 3 in the morning by 7 a.m. We're waking up with clear skies, but very chilly temperatures. 34 degrees at 7 in the morning. So clear skies as we're heading into uh, the overnight hours as our temperatures continue to fall to 32 degrees with light winds out of the northwest at around 5 miles per hour. As we're looking ahead for Thursday and even into Friday, we'll see ample sunshine and uh, high pressure will move in to keep us dry for both Thursday and into Friday. Uh, so we'll start the weekend out on a positive note. Thursday's highs around 57 degrees. Our average for this time of year is about 67, so we're about 10 degrees cooler than what we should be for this time of year. We'll continue with those winds remaining on the light and variable side. So how is the weekend looking? Look at these temperatures warming up into the mid 70s, both for Saturday and Sunday. Chance for showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. The weekend's not going to be a total washout on Sunday. We'll see dry conditions with mostly sunny skies as we're heading into Friday. 65 degrees as your high with a mix of sun and clouds. And by Monday, we're at 80 degrees. Can you believe that? Overnight lows into the 40s and 50s. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. So again, we've got some cool temperatures to deal with for tonight. I think I'm actually going to be uh, turning on my heater <laughs> for tonight. <laughs> or dropping down to the freezing mark. Uh, back up into the upper 50s, 60s on Friday, 70s, and I cannot believe 80 degrees on Monday. You know, it felt so cold today after it being warmer yesterday, but now we can just look forward to the I weekend. I know, <laughs> I know. And can you believe it that we had 65 degrees? That was our high coming shortly after midnight, and then those temperatures continue to fall and fall to where we are right now into the 40s. But I'll be back up to 80 by Monday. <laughs> up back into 80 degrees by Monday for the middle of October. Well, look forward to that. Yes. <laughs> All right, thanks, Teresa. Coming up next in sports.